immediately myself, another science teacher, and some kids said, could we put this in a ball, kick it, and see what happens? Or put it in a football, throw it, and see what happens. Being able to take a Nerf ball, cut it in half, slap the pocket lab inside of it, rubber band it together, and then kick it and videotape it was extremely powerful. The time that I used Pocket Lab during my PhD, for example, I mounted it um, like on this thing and I wanted to know how much that was moving while the engine was running because I needed to mount sensitive equipment to that thing. And I needed to know what the displacement was and what the forces were on um, this particular part of the machine while it was running. So far I've used it in my classes uh usually with earthquakes, we use accelerometers to kind of look about how stresses and strains are built up and how they release over time. Uh, I've also used it on my earthquake towers that we built. So we build a completely new shake table and this kind of helps us give a little bit of legitimacy to uh, exactly how strong, how much shaking was withstood by a certain building. It kind of puts some actual numbers on it, quantifies it for everybody. Uh, I give them pocket labs. I say, um, I want you to tell me something new and exciting, something that you can measure with uh, pocket labs. And so one student said, well, I've, I've always wondered about these two different schools of ballet, uh, how, you, how you put your feet in a period, like which gives you a better angular rotation. And so she made a little belt and put the pocket lab on the belt to measure her uh, her angular rotation during a pirouette for uh, different foot positions. And I can have my IEP students and my exceptionality students and gifted learners challenge with the use of Pocket Lab. So we build in your video tutorials, we link in things right through your website and have student produce amazing work within groups. Um, some of the examples we've done, we've done um, data management with mean, median and mode where we'll attach Pocket Labs to Frisbees um, and we'll throw them and try to knock down a certain amount of pins. We'll then have, this, we'll have the students record the total number they knock down. And can they draw a direct correlation between acceleration and a mean score of pins? So I, I like working with a group called the Institute for Research in Schools and they do a lot through the Institute of Physics. And there we're giving kids pieces of data or pieces of equipment to do genuine scientific research. So things, experiments that have never been done before and they're making the discoveries. And it's kind of that giving them ownership of what they're doing. And I think that's where the Pocket Lab comes in really, really nicely because you kind of give them this piece of kit and you say, you can do anything, you can measure anything. And then they create their own experiment and they do their own investigation. And that critical thinking, that planning, that those ideas we really don't teach in a science curriculum in this country. I really like, I think that probably one of the nicest features is the ability to capture videos and graphs uh, at the same time that you're, it's being synced with data or was be, being synced with your video and stuff. That's a, a phenomenal thing to, for, to play it back and to be able to see the graphs change and you know the different curves and so forth change as you are uh, uh, looking at the actual device that's that's doing its motion and stuff. So that's phenomenal. At Youth Code Jam, we are all about teaching computer programming. So where Pocket Lab fits into that is really that hands-on piece beyond simply typing something into a computer. And, and I think, too, it provides an element of... It, it provides a cool factor. And then they hear, oh, wait, we're going to build a crash barrier, or we're going to attach this device to a kite or we're gonna see what happens when you run. I mean, it's cool to see, oh wait, if I start to build this in information and build this data and build an understanding of the world around me, I can take that back and I can create new things 